Okay, so uh, I want to show you guys how to do some clay renders of your uh, model. And uh, we can start first things first. I want to just I got some weird gaps here that I want to kind of fix before we go ahead and uh, kind of take this guy on to its uh, conclusion. So let's say, let's go to group. Let's open the group up, and we're just gonna grab our bottom piece here. So we move it over, just nudge it over a little. Just gonna actually squeeze it a little. Bit, just Is a lot better, and so will this. Okay. I'm just gonna pull this guy in a little bit more, like so. So now I'm just going to group, let's close this back together. Now this feels a little better, a little bit better to me. So let's hit P on the keyboard. Alright, All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to render this bad boy out and then make our little poly. Alright, so now that we've got our crate or whatever, let's just. Uh, Let's add a uh, Arnold light. I'm just gonna add an Arnold light right here. I'm gonna turn this light into a sky dome. And uh, that's perfectly fine. And then I'm gonna go into my render settings right up here. And then I'm gonna turn on uh, the Arnold renderer. Just take a second. And then in the Arnold uh, renderer, or the systems tab, I want to turn this legacy 3ds max support on close this out all right so let's just move this a little bit. it doesn't have to be anywhere particular just sky dome um, but i like to be able to see it so i can quickly select it all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select m on the keyboard to bring up my material editor and i'm going to use physical material and I'm going to increase the roughness to about 0.4 so it's it's not super shiny so we're just going to select this let's open this group back up let's open So select everything and then throw this standard gray material on it. And then I lose my nails, but I want to. I'm just going to make another material. I'm going to make this a little darker to represent my nails so that I have uh, something to, to help them stand out. So I'm just going to select the nails. Right, 
So I can just do that. Hit M. And then bell. Alright, and then group. Let's close this guy. Let's just open all these guys up. Let's see group. Let's open all of them. And then let's hit control A. And we're gonna do is gonna alt select that way. Alt select this way and then alt select right down the middle so now all we have selected are our nails and we can just go into our material editor and then assign our new uh, material to all the nails and we can just select all of these again and then in the group section just close them out so now you have something that looks like this all right. So another thing I, I'll do is uh, I'll duplicate this guy and then make it a copy and then just, maybe just turn this guy a little bit like so and these are the two uh, images I'm going to render out. I'm going to bring them a little closer together. I want to give them a decent breathing room but just keep closer together and then I'm going to hit Control and C and what that does is it creates my camera based on wherever I have my viewport selected So if I hit P now and go back into perspective and I rotate out you can see that it's made myself It's made a target and the camera body right here So this is where my cameras placed where I was just looking All right So now if I hit C I can just go and toggle back into that camera whenever I want to all right, so now let's hit P again on the keyboard, and I'm going to go into my material editor and start um, messing with my uh, my light. So I'm going to do, uh, let's do right click. I'm just looking for a uh, Arnold, let's see, it's an environment, it's a physical sky. So we're going to use this physical sky to generate the the dome lighting information. All right, so let's do that by just dropping that right onto there like so. Hit OK and I'm just going to click into this guy and the next thing I'm going to do is in the elevation is I'm just going to turn that elevation from 45 degrees to about 90 degrees and what that means is the sun position is going to be right above us so we're going to get nice even lighting across the whole thing. I can tint it, I can even tint the sky color and the ground albedo but I'm going to leave it as it is because um, I just want to see what my defaults are looking like right now so let's go to C and then let's go to our settings and uh, one more time let's go into the common tab and go into our HDTV settings and then instead of 1920 by 1080 let's just do 1280 by 720 and uh, let's render these production out and see what we got okay all right, so this is super blown out, and the reason it's blown out is because our uh, exposure on our sky dome is set to probably eight at at default, and we need to change that to something reasonable like uh, like one. So I'm gonna hit Escape to to cancel out this animation and uh, go into just that and uh, fix my my lighting information. So here's my light, the exposure set to 8, let's set that to 1, let's hit C now, and then let's render, cool, alright, so now we're getting a much better uh, lighting solution. And these things are still offset, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that as well, because I do not like that at all. It's it's gonna make it terrible to low poly this piece, so we're gonna fix that for sure. Alright, so now that I've got my light selected, what I wanna do is I wanna create some more light. So let's create another Arnold light. And instead of making it a dome light, we're gonna make it a uh, Let's make it a rectangular light or quad. So this quad right here, now I can increase the width on X and then they increase the width on Y. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit E, rotate this guy. This way. Uh, don't mind the yawn. It's just a little early. Uh, been up since five, so uh, yeah. Now let's hit C and let's do a render. All right, no change. All right, so what we want to do now is we're going to go back into our light, and we're going to increase our intensity let's do five and I'm gonna uncheck uh, normalize uh, energy right here I'm gonna uncheck that and I'm gonna hit C and I'm gonna hit render all right so now that I've turned off that normalize we're getting something that looks like this I prefer this a lot more to what we were getting uh, before all right and another thing that I like to do, I'm going to cancel this because I'm going to make another change. So another thing I like to do is I like to, like, like to add a little, little pop of color. And the best way that I usually do that is I usually do like a warm and a cool to kind of contrast uh, the colors that I'm getting. So I'll do something along the lines of, uh, let's make ourselves another Arnold light right here. And instead of let's see let's turn this like this so that we're getting something from this side that is either warm or uh, cool so this is you know what I like to do is I like to kind of sculpt with my lighting in the sense that uh, I'm trying to define the shapes as best as I could uh, and get people to see the contours and all the work that I've done based on how well I light it and the best way to do that is to essentially build your lighting like you're 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 painting a piece of artwork or something like that and you're you're building it from scratch and you're not just kind of throwing things together so uh, I've got my uh, my sky dome as it, my ambient kind of environment light I've got my uh, my key and then this is going to be my fill and then I'm going to have a rim light all right so here is this, and I'm going to change this color to something warm. So let's do, let's do maybe like an orange or something like that. Something warm, something that warms the heart. And I'm going to turn off normalize again. It's already turned off. So now let's see what we get. We should get some warmth right here. Yeah, there we go. So now we're getting some warm, right? Like, see, now what's happening is we're carving out this piece right like we've got this warm lighting here it's a little cooler over here it's a little cooler over here right so now we're getting warmth right we're getting dimension where it's telling us okay there's something over here and it's 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 really giving us um really good plane work and that's what i like to right right what i like to kind of aim for so on this other side i'm going to do um the exact opposite i'm going to give this light i'm going to just shift drag over here Make it a copy E, and I'm going to do something cool over here. So let's do something cool over here. All right, something like a blue or like blue or something like that. And this is going to give us something really cool. All right, so now we've got cool, warm lighting uh, kind of mixing there. And this is going to be um, just a good starter render for you guys. So I would crank this bad boy up to uh, 1920 by 1080 and uh, increase my samples or something like that. So I'm not getting as much noise or grain in my image. And uh, that's pretty much going to be the, the way I render this out. And to kind of not finish this little piece out, right? So let's let's go into our render settings so I can show you guys what I mean by the samples. Um, 
So in Arlo, we have these samples and they control how much noise and grain that we're going to get in our image. So to, um, to figure where you need to put your samples, you need to be able to analyze um, what where the noise is coming from. And the best way to do that is in your G buffer settings. And your G buffer is essentially the, the passes that you can that you can render out. And in um, Arnold, they're not called G buffer, they're called uh, AOVs. Uh, and this essentially just splits all your channels up. So I, if I added uh, an AOV, uh, I can add all these passes to it. And these passes allow me to see what is going on on a granular level for each single um, each single piece. So this is you know this is this is the way that I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go in here, and I believe that the the noise is coming from the lights. So I can add samples to the lights, or I can just add four. Let's see four in there. Let's do three in the diffuse, three specular. I don't have anything with transmission, uh, subsurface scatter scattering, or um, yeah. So I'm not gonna add anything to those because I don't want to put stuff where I know it's definitely not be right. I know it's gonna the camera A is gonna affect it. I know that the diffuse is gonna affect it, and I know that the specular is gonna affect it. That's the highlight, right? So now let's render that out. We're going to get significantly less noise, but it's going to take us a little longer to render. All right, so that's pretty much it for this. So whenever you guys are done with this, post it up. We'll get some feedback for you, and uh, we'll go on from there. All right, in the next video, what we're going to do is we are going uh, to make the low poly, uh, unwrap it, take it inside of Substance Painter, and then render it out. All right. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.